Hey, gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I am back with Jason, and we're going to talk about a couple items, mostly how to respect people's equipment when it comes to playing pool. First, how are you, Jason? How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Brian. Thanks for having me back on, man. Always a pleasure. Thanks. Good, good. Um, well, Jason, you're the owner of a, of a pool table. You have people over your house and play. Yes. You're, you're <laughs> yeah. an owner of some nice pool cues. You have people yes. playing with yeah. your equipment. I'm in the mm -hmm. same situation. I don't, I don't have house cues in my house. Mm -hmm. um, right. If somebody, same. yeah, it's a very rare occurrence. Someone comes to my place and plays and is not in possession of their own cue. It's just the nature mm -hmm. of the type of people that, that, that come to my house to play right. pool. Um, it's not the party crowd, you know, so to say. So everybody has their own cue. But if somebody did come without a cue, chances are they're playing with, you know, a very nice poison or Lucasi or possibly a predator. Maybe. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's a long it, shot. It, it, it depends um, on who it is, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they, they have to have a lot of experience. So anyway, I wanted to touch on this subject because I was thinking the other day about um, some of the abuses that pool tables take. And um, I just wanted to touch on this subject. I did want to bring this up because there are some habits that people have around pool tables that just drive me nuts. I mean, you play in APA, you've probably seen some things on bar boxes, people setting drinks on them and things like that. I've, I've seen uh, several people put drinks on them. I see people, you know, leave the table really dirty, right? Like so, some of the places where we play at, they have the white chalk that's on the wall that you could just come, you know, uh, ch chalk up a little bit. And 30 seconds later, it, it looks like, you know, so, like LeBron James just just uh, clapped up on, on top of my pool table uh, or the pool table at the APA. I have it here, too. So it, it does happen. I discourage people from using it, but if their hands are really, really dry and they don't have a glove, I'm like, you know, just put a little bit on your hand. Don't bathe in it. So that's that's one right. of the things that I see that people just come sometimes, and I'm like, all right, guys, you know, the, you, we don't have to ch chalk up my, my entire table. Um, yeah. So that's 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 <laughs> one of my pet peeves, I guess we can call it. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, e even with blue chalk, I mean, people just sometimes put so much on it, and they chalk on top of the table right instead of you know chalk off to the side the table. they chalk right right over the table and you know i got the the chalk crumbs all, all over the table that, that's that, that's another <laughs> thing that bother me too um you know um yeah like, like you mentioned i i have a couple of predator cues here i um i play with a couple of friends i've seen a couple of them on purpose you know angry would just like let the cue go and it would fall to the ground and we get into a, an argument about it and i've seen people do it by accident too they leave the, the yeah. cue just just resting up on the table they come to get a drink or something all of a sudden i look and and the, and the you know sometimes i'll catch it and sometimes the, the cue will hit the floor and that you know becomes an issue too um right. like you said i don't i don't really play with house cues here either so i i, I do kind of tell people you know be, be careful with these because they're not you know, fifty dollars sticks. So, yeah, and it's and it's it's very interesting how pool tables become the area where people lose their mind, whether it's in somebody's house or in a bar. So, I'm going to put all of that in the same category because I something I, I constantly remind people about. You know, uh, because people that aren't in business, that don't own a business, that aren't entrepreneurs don't get it sometimes, but mm -hmm. a bar that owns a pool table, that owns a bar box has a tremendous expense. They have to keep that, if they take care of it, they have to keep it level. They have to pay for the cloth. They have to do all kinds of maintenance. People are putting cigarettes out on it. There's this craziness that are going on, that's going on in bars. And this is somebody's property. Right. And there's a, a, obviously a lot more abuse that goes on, you know, in a bar than someone's house generally um, with, with the pool table. But people really just, they forget. And when it comes to a pool table in someone's home, 
this is the way I like to put it in, in perspective. Almost everybody I know who owns a pool table, the absolute most expensive piece of furniture in their house is probably the pool table. Probably. They don't have $6,000 dining room tables. They don't right. have $6,000 or so, or couches. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> they have $6,000 pool tables that cost, you know, you change the tablecloth on the dining room table. You, you spill wine on, on my dining room table. It's not a, a tear shed. Um, you spill wine I, I, on uh, someone's yeah, pool I, table. I, 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 the other day I had, um, you know, one of these cups. My brother comes and just leaves it right there. Somebody walks by and I kid you not, taps right onto the table. I mean, I was, I was screaming in, in anguish. Luckily, um, you know, it cleaned up very well. I have a couple of good cleaning products and I was able to clean it up. But I mean, 75% yeah. of an entire drink spilled on this. And, you know, I, I just got this refelted maybe uh, two months ago. Um, right. You know, it, 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 it is a Simonis felt. And, um, and, I, and I felt the pain because just simply because so many other places to put a drink, I even have shelves on the side and, but still the drink was left there and, uh, and, and it was bumped and fell all over. And, and I know he was, he, he, he looked very sorry and he felt really bad and he was helping me clean it. But man, inside I was just, you know, um, yeah. <laughs> that, that was probably the worst thing anybody's done on my table. Um, you know, no, no, no and, one's and said, no, no one sits on it. Um, you know, we do occasionally smoke cigarettes in here, but nobody goes anywhere near the pool table with a, with a cigarette. Um, right. you know, that's, that, that, that's kind of been clearly established. And in New Jersey, you can't smoke in bars anyway, so that's never really a, um, a, a case where, where we play at. A, a couple of stories that, that, that come to mind. First off, um, sitting on somebody's pool table, I don't care if it's in a bar, a pool hall, their house or whatever, sitting on somebody's pool table, is is absolutely bad etiquette even yeah, if yeah. even if they sit on the pool table themselves you know right. i had a guy um say something in, in one of my videos uh, in the comments because i was sitting on the edge of the table when i was doing the video and um and i of course my response was well you know i bought the pool table i will dance a jig on top of that pool table if i choose to but nobody yeah. else is going to be sitting on it. And it's funny because um, I, had, I had just met my wife. She had a friend, a childhood friend was in the neighborhood and he came by and um, we lived in a small apartment at the time. I had in my living room, a wall unit, a sofa and a and pool, a pool table. table. <laughs> okay. And I stressed the word, I had a sofa. This guy comes by and the whole time he's sitting there chatting, he's sitting on my pool table. Now, the nerves. Of course, I never the, invited the, him the, back. The nerves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, and people don't know any better. But and at that time in my life, not only was my pool table the most expensive piece of furniture I had, it was it was a big deal. I mean, it was right. all I had, basically. I mean, I had a decent car and a pool table. That was my, my entire net worth. Um, but yeah, it, even if you see somebody do something on their own pool table, it doesn't mean you have the green light to do it, whether it's sitting a cup or, or their butt or, or whatever on the table. And um, again, people forget this is a very expensive thing. And, um, you know, one of the things that I think if you if you guys have an issue with this, if you're if you're a guy that has a lot of friends over and, um, you know, they're doing things on your pool table that you don't you don't like. It's a good idea to put it in writing. You know, I, yeah. I play in a pool hall where there's a sign that says, you know, no mass a shots and yeah. no jump shots. Okay. Put up a sign and let people know. Putting up a sign is a good idea though. I've thought about that before too. Even just with some rules, right? Just because rules are different everywhere you go. But um, exactly. um yeah, that, that's actually a good idea. And I know a gentleman who owns a pool table that 
I know is worth over twenty thousand dollars. It is a, is a work of art. Okay, mm-hmm. it cost him six grand just to get it moved and put in because it was so special. Like there was one guy in the country that could do it, and he was. And it was supposed to be a six month wait because the one guy that could do it was, it was just working on a up, movie. Yeah. Set. He was working oh, on a okay. movie set as, a, as an advisor. Um, that's how that's how rare this pool table is. And every time I would see, he was he was a student of mine. Um, and every time I would see that that beautiful table, I'm just imagining, you know, my 240 pound cousin leaning on that table to reach for a <laughs> shot or um <laughs> even myself shooting a jump shot or yeah. a masse or, or I'm like i would just yeah. leave the cover on it's, it, and it, it show, it's, it, it's, show it to people it's tough to tell someone you know or, or to get upset with someone leaning on the table right i mean if you're stretching to get a shot yeah it's tough to say anything but it you, you know sitting on it even even leaning on it sometimes there's plenty of other things normally you can lean on you don't have to leave the tables can move, tables shift, you know, especially if you're, you know, a, a big dude or something. So, um, and depending on yeah. where it's mounted, I mean, you know, your your table's on a hard floor. If, if the table is on on carpet, it yeah, generally so, settles in. But if it's on, yeah, so it, it, it's it's funny you say that it, it, because it is on a hard surface, but on one end because it's a garage, right? On one end there are spacers underneath it. Right. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it could, you know, it could be, even though it's a very heavy table, it could easily be moved if, you know, with the proper weight. So yeah, right. don't, don't, don't lean on tables. Definitely don't sit on tables. If, if uh, you know, watching, um, I was in Dave and Buster's and it had to be, I'm going to say it was 10 or 15 years ago. And, and these, like a whole group of people came in. It was some girl's birthday party. And there were about four or six just huge dudes um, in the group. And they picked up one of the pool tables and slid it over next to another one of the pool tables so that they, as a group, could sit a at oh, okay. the pool table for this party. And I'm like, what the hell just happened? Where, where's, where, where's the, the owner coming in to complain about that again yeah. anytime soon but yeah i i just thought that was amazing that somebody was so stupid to pick up and move a that pool been table a, yeah. yeah great sight to see um, all the <laughs> seen that just to laugh yeah so anyway it, it is a good idea to put your 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 rules down there maybe buy a couple house cues or, or at least um mm. You know, a couple two hundred dollar, you know, hundred dollar. Even the way, good. even the way when you're done shooting, right? I mean, you you leave for the day or, or whatever. You know, people leave the pool cue diagonally right on the wall, which right. after a while a, a wooden stick, especially it's if you have a wooden shaft, it starts to warp. And it's like you know, we everybody has racks. You know, if you have a pool table, you have a rack. Put it on the rack. I, I wake up sometimes, and the next day I see one of my pool cues up against the wall. Yeah, you know, on a forty on a forty five degree angle, and you know, I'm, you know, like that, the like the one behind you, <laughs> and which you know, you just, I know you just had well, that in your hand because I, I you, just, right before I, we started I, recording, I did, I did. <laughs> but you know, the other problem with that is it is in the perfect position to be snapped in half if somebody that falls whole, back on it by accident. Yeah, yeah, or Absolutely. steps on it by accident. Guys, don't leave your cue or anybody else's cue um, at that angle. Um, we only have a, a, a couple minutes, but the last thing I want, and maybe this is as much a question as it is a statement. Guy has a thousand dollar pool cue. I, I'm I'm going to say it's not even a thousand, but let's say let's say it's just a couple hundred dollars. And somebody says, "Oh, let me let me try, try out it. your cue." Yeah. I I understand that if somebody's in the market to to buy a cue, they might want to get a, a shot at it. I don't get what the upside is for that. I mean, I used to see it, and I it's happened to me with with motorcycles, cars, pool cues, all kinds of. Oh, let me let me take a couple shots with that, or let me take your bike around the block, or oh, can I drive your car? Um, no. Okay. 
And why would you want to? Only bad things can happen. You know, you know, I hear no, you. Yeah. But, I, but that that short time experience, the 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 10 minutes I'm gonna give you driving my car, um it is, is it, not is worth, it gonna make you go buy one? Right, probably you right. Know, yeah, most likely yeah. not. So so a guy has a thousand dollar pool cue, unless you're in the market for it or you got a grand in your pocket, don't mess with this cue. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pick, I'm not going to say who this was, but there's a very, there's a hall of fame player that I know who broke a guy's break cue because he said, let me, hey, try, let me try out your break cue. <laughs> and this is a big guy. And he broke the guy's break cue with one break. And fortunately this guy has, or had his, his, his own line of cues and, and also besides that could afford to replace the cue. But, um, but yeah, where's the upside? Let me try your brains. Anyway, if you are going to use somebody's equipment, you guys treat it like the, the valuable thing it is. It may be the absolute most expensive thing that that person has. And um, right. even if it's a, 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 a $25 Q tech house cue that's sitting on the wall in some pool hall, some guy bought that. That's his, that's his livelihood. Don't bang it on the table. Don't leave it on the side. Don't let it drop. I don't care if it's 25 bucks or $25,000. Um, you know, treat this stuff with, with, um, with care. So I have to go because I'm up against the lesson right now. But um, Jason, thanks for being on and sharing your, your Anytime, stories Brian. with us. And you guys, um, hit us in the comments. And if you have any information stories, about guys that uh, yeah. <laughs> using stuff or, or any stories about it um hit us in the comments and let us know thank you very much jason and all you guys for watching by the time you guys see this we will be at thirty thousand subscribers um that is twenty thousand subscribers in the last 20 months so i appreciate it um the channel's been congrats, around for a while con con congrats by the way congrats thank you i went 10 years and only posted six videos, maybe seven in 10 years. Um, so I don't even count that first 10 years that I had a channel. But in the last 20 months, um, yeah, we, we, we got to 30,000 subscribers, 20,000 new ones. And I appreciate it, every single yeah. one of you. Um, yeah. And those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please do. Jason, have a great day. And thanks for your time. And all you guys that have watched, uh, guys and ladies, thanks for your time too. All right? Congrats. All right, Brian. All right. See you.